Welcome! In this video, we will show how Metadrug can be used for drug repositioning and solving the mechanism of action using Mabendazole as an example. Mabendazole is an approved anthelmintic drug that is in preclinical studies for cancer treatment. Mabendazole is a microtubule disrupting agent, however, its action in cancer cells differs from traditional tubulin targeted agents. We use Metadrug to suggest alternative targets. We can start our analysis from the Predict Compound Activity tab on the Start page to upload the structure using all default settings. Alternatively, you can search for the structure of Mabendazole from our database. Metadrug produces a report containing all of the results of the calculations on one interactive page, and this can be found from the My Structures folder from the Start page. To access the Metadrug report, double-click on the compound. To understand how the targets were produced by Metadrug, let's have a closer look at the possible targets table. This table shows our input structure and the structure of any similar compounds that pass the similarity threshold. These numbers correspond to Tanimono coefficients that show just how similar the database compounds are to Mabendazole. Targets of the similar compounds annotated from the literature are listed in this column. You can click on each link to get literature evidence that supports this information. Among the targets, the known target of mabendazole, tubulin, was predicted, as well as androgen receptor, XIAP, and IAP2 proteins. To suggest a mechanism of action of mabendazole, we can use pathways and processes from the enrichment analysis section. GeneGo Pathway Maps shows anti-apoptosis pathways as the most significant for mabendazole targets. Let's open the second map to find predicted targets on this pathway. Targets such as XIAP and IAP2 are highlighted here and are shown to inhibit caspases that are indicated by red arrows. Therefore, their inhibition by mabendazole can lead to caspase activation and apoptosis induction. To further confirm this hypothesis, different types of omics data, such as expression data, can be uploaded into Metadrug and used for additional validation with this map. For this study, we uploaded four expression profiles obtained after treating rats with mabendazole using our experiment parser. Let's activate the profiles by selecting the data and choosing the Activate button and refresh the map to visualize the data. On the map, the expression level for each protein is indicated as red or blue bars. We can see that all experiments show upregulation of caspases, indicated by the red bars, that additionally confirms the suggested hypothesis about apoptosis activation under mabendazole treatment. From the Metadrug report, we can use the GeneGo Disease Biomarker Network as a guide for mabendazole repositioning. This report suggests cancers are a possible secondary indication for mabendazole. Thank you for your attention.